No, it's not, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have this thing here. You can mute yourself too. Before I go to my session.
Can everyone hear me? Yes, Ms. Lynn. Yes, Ms. All right, we're going to continue uh, our grammar lesson chapter one, the parts of speech, and we're on page six, demonstrative, interrogative, and relative pronouns. A, demonstra a demonstrative pronoun, that, this, these, and those, is used to point out a specific person, place, thing, or idea. Example, this is a snapshot of my pen pal from Quebec. An interrogative pronoun, who, whom, whose, which, what, introduces a question. Example, what is the capital of Canada? A relative pronoun, who, whom, whose, which, that, introduces a subordinate clause. My brother works at the animal shelter that is located on Sycamore Drive. Any questions so far? No. Okay. No. All right, uh, Sama, will you take the first five, please? Miss Lynn? Yes. Uh, Miss Sam, I can't answer because uh, you're, you're muting her. You can't answer because why, baby? She's muted. She's muted. You, oh, you muted I thought her. I unmuted everyone. <laughs> no, only Sam. She, uh, she sent to us in the group. Okay. Everyone should be unmuted. Sam, can you hear me? Yes, Miss Sam. Okay. One through five, please. Okay. Uh, one, uh, who will be interrogative pronoun? Yes. Uh, that will be demonstrative pronoun? Yes. Uh, three, that demonstrative pronoun? All right, go back to three, read it again. Uh, sorry, relative pronoun? Yes. Uh, number four, this uh, demonstrative pronoun. Yes. And five, interrogative pronoun. What? Yes. Any questions so far? No, thanks. Okay. All right, on the same page, Carrie Mann, I want you to answer the next five, please. I'm waiting for Carrie Mann to join. Carrie Mann, can you hear me? Carrie Mann? Carrie Mann, can you hear me? Miss, can I answer? One second, I'm waiting for Carrie Mann to answer. I sent her a message. Okay. Carrie Mann? Okay, who asked if they could answer? Who was that? Farah, would you answer uh, seven through 10? I'm yes, sorry, six through 10. Okay, I will answer. 
number six? Yes. Okay. Um, who went to the movie uh, with you yesterday? Um, uh, it will be... Um, An interrogative pronoun? Yes, because it asks a question. Any time that it asks the pronoun, ask a question, is always going to be interrogative. Okay, go ahead, Father. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, both actors who had uh, who had the lead rules in the play were, some, uh, were somewhat nervous. Um, who will be relative pronoun? Yes, because why what makes it a relative pronoun it introduces uh, a what it introduces a subordinate clause yes both actors who had lead roles were somewhat nervous so it introduces subordinate clause so that makes it a relative pronoun okay go ahead far okay and number eight, those are the fans who sat near the back uh, of the auditorium. Those will be the demo uh, demonstrative, uh, demonstrative pronoun. Yes. And number nine, uh, of the planets Mars uh, and Venus, which is closer to the uh, to Earth, uh, which will be a relative pronoun. What kind of pronoun? I'm sorry, Farah. Relative, relative pronoun. Of the planets Mars and Venus, which is closer uh, to Earth? Oh, yes, sorry, uh, uh, interrogative. Yes, because interrogative it's asking pronoun. a question. Yes. Okay, number 10. Okay. Um, did you say that girl who, uh, who won the golf match in the ninth grade? Um, interrogative also because it's asking a question. Did you say that the girl who won the golf match is in the ninth grade? Uh, it's relative, relative. So. Yes, it's relative. You understand why, Farah? Yes, because uh, it's, um, it has a question, but it's, uh, it introduces a subordinate clause. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Right, any questions on this page? All right, let's go to the next page. Indefinite pronouns. An indefinite pronoun refers to one or more persons, persons, places, things, or ideas that may or may not be specifically named. Some common indefinite pronouns are all, another, anybody, both, each, either, everyone, many, nothing, several, and some. Example, a few of the students had already read most of the books on the list. All right, so here we need to underline the indefinite pronoun in the following sentences. All right, Carrie Mann, do the first five, please. Do number one, Carrie Man. Read the sentence. Answer? Read the sentence, Carrie Man. Um, Miss Lynn, maybe you will muted Kerimen. I'm sorry? Maybe you muted Kerimen. Check because maybe she can't speak because you muted her. You won't answer. I'll send her private messages. Me. Everyone who wants to do space camp had a wonderful experience. Everyone. Yes. Number two. Will you tell the others that the meeting has been canceled? Others. Okay, number three. 
None of the keys will unlock either of these doors. Um, none? Okay. Yes. Number four. This peach is sweet. May I have another? Another. Okay. Number five. So you can run faster than anyone at, on the school track team. Anyone. Okay. Go ahead and do six. I have read many of her short stories. Her. No, not her. Her. Is there anything here? You're Act doing as the as indefinite pronouns. Of... What? What's your answer for number six? Say it one more time. I can't hear you. No. No. The answer for number six is many. All right, go to number seven. Wrong to act as if something is starting to Anything? Okay, anything is one. You have another one. Something. Yes. Are there any questions? No, thank you. Okay. All right, the next page, identifying pronouns. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of one or more nouns or pronouns. She bought herself a pair of skates like those. She is a personal pronoun. Herself is a reflexive pronoun and those is a demonstrative pronoun. Who made all of the costumes that were on display? Who is an interrogative pronoun because who asked a question? All is an indefinite pronoun and that is a relative pronoun. Juanita finished the installation herself. Herself is an intensive pronoun. I right, so in each of the following sentences, identify the underlying, underlying pronouns by writing above each one, P-E-R for personal, R-E-F for reflexive, and it goes on and tells you, okay? So that's what we're going to do. I want all of you now to do one through 10. I'll give you a minute to answer. Number one, those are the pilots whom the general himself chose for the mission. Those himself are the pronouns that are underlying. You need to write above it which type of pronoun they are. Number two, she amused herself by reading a book by Irma Bombeck. Number three, oh, this is some of that delicious tuna salad. Miss Lynn? Yes. Miss Lynn, can you unmute Bomika? And Miss Ensema also. Everyone should be unmuted. Hannah Hanny, can you hear me? Miss Lynn? Everyone should be unmuted. I think not. Is everyone unmuted? Yes, Ms. Lynn, we are okay. unmuted. All right, number four, what is the name of the senator who is speaking? The cyclists took their water bottles with them on the trail. 
Number six, we ourselves must decide the number of hours to study. Number seven, Shelley adopted two turtles, which she named Snapper and Swifty. And number eight, whom did she invite to go to the movies with her? Number nine, in the woods, we spotted a doe that had a fawn. Number 10, each of us had a good time on our trip to the aquarium. Let's see. All right, Nor, take the first three, please. Okay. Those are the pilots whom the general himself chose for the mission. Those is a demonstrative colonel. Uh, demonstrative, yes. Uh, himself is a reflexive. Does it introduce a subordinate clause? Um, himself. Um, who, who, who is himself? The pilot. No, those are the pilots. Those are the pilots whom the general himself chose for the mission. Himself is the general. So that means it's what? Um, per personal? No, it's intensive. All right, number two. She, Prisna, amused herself, reflexive, by yes. reading a book when, um, Oh, this is some of the delicious tuna salad. Some uh, is demonstrative. Not this. This demonstrative and some okay. is the um, reflexive. Oh, this is some of that delicious tuna salad. Who can help her? What is some? Me, me. I know. Slim, can I help her? Slim, can I help? The first boy. Me? Yes. Um, some is indefinite. Yes, very good. Is this me, Head? No, it's uh, Abdurrahman Khalid. Okay, yes, very good. All right, uh, four, five, and six, who would like to answer? Me. Okay, go ahead. Abdul Rahman Abu Talib. Do four, five, six, please. Mr. Abdul Rahman Abu Talib can't mute. He can't unmute. Abdurrahman Abu Talib can't unmute. Wait one second, guys. Everyone should be unmuted. All right, Krish, can you answer, please, four, five, six? Miss Lynn, can I answer? Chris, can you hear me? Please don't uh, ask me. Guys, please don't ask me if you can answer. Raise your hands. I can see. I'm here. Chris, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Number four, please. What is inter interrogative? 
Okay. Who is the indefinite? What is the name of the senator who is speaking? Who is speaking? Is that a subordinate clause? No, it's an interrogative. It's a question. What is the name of the senator who is speaking? Okay, let me tell you an easy way. If you put your finger over who is speaking, does the rest of the words make a complete statement? No. What is the name of the senator? What is the name of the senator? Is that a complete sentence or question? It's a question. Right. So who is speaking is what? Uh, it's an interrogative. No. Who can help? I can help. Uh, who is speaking as a supporting clause, so uh, who is a relative uh, pronoun? Exactly. Who is speaking is a subordinate clause. Because you, another okay. way to tell that, Chris, you don't have to have that subordinate clause in that sentence. <laughs> if you left it out, it would still be a complete thought or a question, however you want to say, but you can leave it completely out of the sentence. So that tells you that's a subordinate clause. You do not need it in the sentence. Okay, so do number five. The second, the one. Uh, second, there is a demonstrative. Read the sentence. The cyclists took their war boards with them on the trail. Okay. That first there pronoun, is, what kind is it? It's a demonstrative. Why? Um, Go back to page five. Chris, and I want you to read over the rules again. Afid, can you help? Afid Uta. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, there is a personal uh, pronoun. Yes. And them is also personal pronoun. Yes, very good. Can you do number six, please, Afid? Uh, okay. Uh, we use a personal pronoun and ourself is an intensive pronoun. Yes. Thank you very much. All right, Zaina El Bodeli, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, which relative? Okay. Uh, she personal? Okay, number eight. Number eight, uh, whom? Interrogative? Okay. Her personal? Okay. Number nine, we personal? Okay. That relative. Okay, and do number 10, please. Uh, each indefinite. Okay. Our personal. Okay, any questions on this page? If you need to review the rules on how to identify pronouns, go back to page five. Make a little note on your page here if you need to. All right, let's go to the next page, the adjective. Adjectives are extremely easy. An adjective is a word that is used to modify a noun or a pronoun. An adjective tells what kind, which one, or how many. Example, 
narrow road. What kind of road? Narrow. Helpful teacher. One act play. What kind of play? One act. And it goes on and on. The most frequently used adjectives are a and and the. These words are usually called articles. So we're going to underline the adjectives in the following sentences and you are to circle the article, articles. Uh, let's see. Debelina, do the first five, please. One is hot and humid. Miss? Go ahead. Tell us the adjectives. Um, Tell us what you underlined and what you circled. And uh, Cole and Chris. Ramika, help her on this sentence, please. Yes, hot and humid are adjectives. We will okay. underline them, describing summer. Cool, uh, crisp, autumn, uh, all three describe days. Okay, what about um, circle the articles? Uh, the is the article. Uh, okay. The hot uh, before uh, the one uh, before hot, and the one uh, before cool. Very good. I right, Debelina, number two. Number two is driving is the adjective. Okay. And total. Okay. And various and traffic. Okay. Those are what? Um, adjectives. Okay. What about articles? Do you have any in that sentence? Yes, um, the first uh, before driving. Okay. The and uh, before various. Okay. And uh, before thorough. Thorough. Okay. Um, yes. All right, number three. Number three is um, winter's adjective. Okay. And um, horse drawn sleigh. Uh, horse drawn is adjective. Okay. And uh, the uh, articles are A before horse drawn. Okay. And the before mayor. Okay. And the before winter. Okay. okay. Number four. Number four is um, this and math in. Uh, Adjective of project. Okay. And many of uh, many is an adjective for hours. Okay. All right. Number five. A uh, number five uh, most are important is adjective for contest. Okay. And professional is adjective for football. Okay. An annual Super Bowl for game. Okay. Uh, the is the article before annual sheet to annual. And the before most. Okay. Good job. Any questions here? No. Oh, thank All right. you. Ramika, uh, would you do the next five, please? Yes. Uh, a uh, is an article uh, before okay. bouquet. Okay. F underline fresh, underline oak, and circle a uh, before was, and circle the before oak. Okay. Number seven, circle the, underline curious, circle the, underline mysterious. Okay. Number eight, circle a, underline young. Circle the underline below uh, Snow White. Okay. Uh, number nine, circle the underline new. Uh, new and karate, circle okay. A underline skillful. Okay. Number 10, circle the 
Underline three, tiny, newborn. Very good. Okay. Any questions? No, thanks. Okay. All right, so on page 10, and this will be our last page for today, pronoun or adjective. A pronoun that is word, a word that is used in place of one or more nouns or pronouns. An adjective is a word that is used to modify a noun or a pronoun. Some words may be used as either pronouns or adjectives. For example, this, that, these, and those are called demonstrative pronouns when they take the place of nouns or other pronouns and are called demonstrative adjectives when they modify nouns or pronouns. Pronoun, that is my sister's guitar. Adjective, that guitar belongs to my sister. So in each of the following sentences, identify the part of speech of the underlying words by writing above the word PRO for pronoun, ADJ for adjective, okay? Let's see here, need some volunteers. Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, it can, can, you, can you unmute Muhammad Can you do one through five, please? Yes, what? Number one? Yes. Um, Read the sentence. Uh, the driving test requires a uh, I don't understand. On page 10, number one. This number one is not... Uh, this, uh, number two is... Uh, and the screen change is not on um, number one, page 10. All right, let me read what's on my page. These fajitas... And the screen change uh, is uh, page number nine. Am I confused? Uh, Mrs. Uh, the screen share. Oh, okay. he's looking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Muhammad. Yes. Go ahead. Number one. These vegetables as certainly are spicy. Okay, so these, these is a kind of pronoun, or is it an adjective? Adjective. Yes. All right, number two. Um, these are the spices um, vegetables uh, I have ever tasted. Uh, pronoun. Yes. These number three. Yes, number two uh, is a pronoun. What's number three? Most uh, pronoun. Yes. Number four? Uh, adjective. Yes. And number five? Adjective. Yes. Good job. Okay, so that will complete our grammar lesson today because we're about to run out of time. So you know that all of the pages that we have uh, done in our uh, session